together using GIMP. So first off, click File, o Open, then click on your first picture, your background picture, and in my case it will be this one. Um, then click File, Open as Layers, and then choose your second picture. will be this one. Then right click on the first picture that appears on the right bar here and click add alpha channel. Then click the eraser tool and just erase the parts of the picture you don't want. easier way to do this, a faster way, is to uh, use uh, the paths tool here, zoom in, go to about 400, and just outline the, the, the parts of the picture where you don't want to get erased. So I just wa I want to keep the face here, and so I'm, I'm out outlining it. keep clicking around towards the end click control keep clicking it and then click on the first point and then release control uh, after that click enter on your keyboard uh, click select invert then on your keyboard click delete and that should delete all your background except what you outlined zoom out should look something like that and just click select again and click none then click the move tool here and just move your picture around so that's how it looks like and then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put the face on top of the other one the background face so I'm, I'm putting it here and then in order to make uh, picture smaller or bigger just go to the scale tool here and click on your picture here. and click to the corner and uh, click control and while clicking on the corner just to make it just you know an easier way to make it smaller and bigger size and then scale the move tool and move it around adjust it and put it so yeah and you can also use um, the perspective tool to cha change the perspective of the, of the picture so so you know like move move around use it experience with it, see how it is. You know. My case, uh, I, uh, I just want to keep it the way it is, I don't want to use the perspective tool. Um, also to make it more real, more realistic. Just uh, zoom in to about 400. Use the smudge tool and uh, keep the opacity.
so in around in the 30s here just like in the 30s just keep it there and the scale keep it the way it is and uh, you might just want to bring a smaller brush and just just like go over the outline of the head just like so that it seems like it's blending in more actually look better when you zoom out. Yeah. So that's about it. And that's it actually. That's how you combine two pictures together. Uh thank you.